Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali and this is Oscar. <laughs> I'm back today with a homeware haul. This video is in collaboration with my friend Chantal, who is Chantal Louise here on YouTube. Me and Chantal live quite close together and we decided to go on a bit of a shopping spree together in Nottingham today. Um, well, it's not today when you're watching this, but it's today for me, isn't it? And if you wanna go and check out Chantal's video, make sure you do. I'll put the link in the description and I'll also put the link to it up here. Chantal bought a lot of Halloween themed homewares. Chantal is very into her Halloween themed stuff. So if you wanna go and see some cool Halloween things from shops like Poundland, The Range, and other places like that, then please go check out her video. Um, can you get off the microphone? The stuff I got is more homeware based things. So some goodies from Sostry and Green, from Tiger, Wilco, The Range, and lots of um, cat treats. So I think that's why I have a little helper today. I think he can smell some goodies for him. So if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. That means I can give Oscar more cat treats. Do you like the sound of that? Huh? If you want to see the kind of stuff that I got from affordable homeware stores, then please just keep watching. So the first shop that we went to was Tiger. Um, I really like Tiger. What are you eating? I haven't actually been proper shopping, shopping in the shopping center since the beginning of this year. So it was quite therapeutic for me today to go and just like buy a load of stuff. And <laughs> um, it's not necessarily things that I needed. You know, whatever, you find joys where you can in lockdown. So let's get started on this pile. Um, the first thing I saw that I really liked was this basket. This is, it says it's an accessory tray. I think it's meant for like, I don't know, hair bands and jewelry and stuff. But I actually got this to put um, all of Oscar's toys in. So they're not all over the living room floor. So it's just made of felt and it's got like a wire loop to keep its shape. I'm just gonna whack all of his toys in this because he can then go and get them out if he wants to. <laughs> Hopefully he shouldn't have so many toys that they don't all fit. So that's gonna keep them all nice and tidy. So that's that. Then the next thing I saw, which I'm telling you now that I absolutely did not need, is um, this notebook. What are you doing now? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Are you getting in a box? Is that what you're doing? You're in the box. Did I just leave you in there? You look quite happy. As long as he's not eating anything. So I've got this big, this big sketchbook. I really, really like the print on the cover and like the fabric cover. They actually had a lot of stuff in Tiger with this print on, but it's you coming out again already. You've only been in there for like a minute. And the paper inside is like this creamy white. It's quite thin, but it would make a good sketchbook just for drawing in. The paper is 80, 80 GSM. So it's very light. So it's more of a writing book than a sketchbook, but you could totally use it as a sketchbook. Just really like the cover. I really don't need any more notebooks. I've already had this discussion, but we won't discuss that anymore. So these were a pound each, which I thought was quite a good deal. There is a 15 by 15 centimeter one and a 15 by 21 centimeter one. So I thought they'd be cool to have a go at painting on. Um, I also got this jute string, which to be honest was just to give to Oscar to play with. So he doesn't ruin my wool, but um, I'll give him that later. I'm sure he'll love it. I got some tissues. <laughs> These are unbleached pocket tissues and it says they're made of biodegradable material. So, I mean, I don't know if tissues are un not usually biodegradable, but the only thing, I don't know if the actual, this just feels like plastic. So this might not be biodegradable, but. So that's those. Uh, also got some of these. These are apple chips. Um, I really like these. I've had these before. So I'll probably have these as a snack after I finish this video. <laughs> and then I got some of these stickers. I thought these were pretty cool. I'm a bit of a sucker for a sticker and these were only a pound each so um i just thought they were a bit unusual and they had some quite fun designs just like those you know no rhyme or reason i also got this frame i've been looking for a smaller square frame to put a print in that i've got so that was perfect i'm just going to pop that in there it's just like a wood effect frame and it's got um a stand but you can also hang it also got this which has come in some very very funky wrapping paper this is a measuring cup, UK cups, US cups, which I didn't actually know. I didn't actually know they were different, but apparently they are. Whatever DL is, I'm not sure. Mill, and then there's rice portions, there's sugar, weight, flour, 
weight. So I thought this would be really handy. And it's made of glass as well, so it's nice and heavy. This would be really handy when I'm cooking, because I do a lot of cooking. And this is dishwasher safe, but you can't put it in the microwave, but I wouldn't, I don't have a microwave, so <laughs> that doesn't matter. And then the last thing I've got, which Chantal actually got one of these as well. This was only two pound, I can't believe it. So this is a scrapbook. This is a concertina scrapbook. So instead of opening like this, like a normal book, it opens like this. And then you can, you, obviously you can put things on both sides. So I've never really done a scrapbook before, but I just thought this was so fun. Um, I might give it a go. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Yeah, it would be fun. It would make a great um, scrapbook for a holiday or for like a short period of time, like a year or like a gift for somebody. And obviously you can display it quite easily as well, which you can't do with a lot of scrapbooks. So scrapbook, 16 pages. So it's got 16 pages inside. So I'm guessing there's eight on each side. And then it ties up with this nice, quite nice thread here. And it's got a little loop. So that's what I got from Tiger. Whoa, you're back, hey. So the next shop we went to after that, we went to a pound shop and I wanted to go and check out the cat stuff. Thank you, Oscar. So I got him a few treats. So there's one of these. He really likes the basket for the toys. He's just sleeping in it. There's one of these, which are like little yogurty treats. My mum actually just brought me some of these and she said that her cats loved them. I know some people's cats love these. So, oh, he's already interested. So there's a chicken and liver one and there is a salmon this is salmon and trout yeah so these are like chew sticks um in treat form so hopefully he'll like those I'm judging by his reaction i think he will got some catnip bubbles which i was wondering if bubbles are safe for cats and then i saw these and i thought oh my god that sounds like so much fun so yeah those will be fun to play with him with i think i think he'll like those because he's very excitable so and then i also got this which is just a cat toy on a string um, he's got his seal of approval, I think. He loves to play, so um, um, I don't want him clawing my fingers, so I thought I'd get a toy like this because I think he will really enjoy it. What else did I get? Also got a reed diffuser from the pound shop. This is a citrus one. I just like bung these in the bathroom and they make the bathroom smell nice. A couple of candles. These are Yankee candles and Chantal and I had a really good time sniffing all the candles in the shop. I got frosty gingerbread and I got Belgian waffles and they just smell like you would imagine those two things smell also got one of these um if you've watched mrs hench you've probably seen these before she loves this kind of thing i like to use these in my kitchen because they're reusable so they're not like cloths and scours that you can just bung them in the washing machine endless times and they just keep on going and i usually get them off amazon for about four pounds each and i think this was one pound for two which and they've got a scrubby side and a microfiber side so that's like really boring but it's you know everyday essentials i've not been to this kind of shop in so long and this is the kind of stuff i buy like when i go to the pound shop and i haven't been like this year really at all also got in the same vein a pack of pegs um either to use on the washing line because ours all seem to just go missing i don't like the plastic ones these are just these are pine so they're fine i'll either use them in the garden on the washing line or i'll wrap my ribbon around them and try and store my ribbon a bit better not actually eating I'm being really good and not eating any chocolate at the moment, but this was my favourite chocolate that Dairy Milk came out with last year. So I love anything gingerbread. Um, so when I saw it in the shop, I was like, I'm going to get some of this just to, to put away for when I'm allowed to eat chocolate again, which will be after my birthday in November. So, And then I saw this as well, and I quite fancied trying this because I really like dark chocolate, so I got one of those as well. So that's everything from that pound shop, but we did go to another pound shop later. So the next shop we went was Sostre and Green. So if you've, if you've never been to Sostre and Green, because there's not that many in the UK, it's like a little bit like a cross between Tiger and Ikea. It's very Nordic style homeware stuff and it's very affordable. They have a lot of craft stuff, a lot of home stuff, some kitchen stuff and some party stuff. And I love it. It's one of my favourite shops. You can't buy from them online. You can only buy from them in store, but they have some really, really nice things that are really well made high quality but the price is really reasonable so i'll show you what i got there's some of my favorite things in here that i'm restocking on one of the first things i got was this corrugated card so this is a bit random but i really liked the pattern on it and i'll probably use this in card making because it's not that thick and it will make a nice background so i've got this gray one that has like little bits of silver in the pattern i'm not sure if you can really see that and then this one is like a coppery color so it's quite shimmery and there is 
27 by 39 centimeters there so it's quite a big piece and they were one pound ten each for those i love how everything in sausage and green has always got the price on as well so you always know what everything costs not a lot of shops do that anymore got these for mike he requested if i was going to sausage and green that i get him some grassini these are like little um pesto um, breadsticks i guess um, they're really really nice and they're the only place that sells them so i got two packs of, i mean i like them as well i'm not gonna lie i think they're really tasty <laughs> but he did request them so i have fulfilled the request i also got this absolutely do not need any more pattern paper but um sausage and greens pattern paper are just always really nice and really modern so i got this one this is a new one that i don't have yet also got a pack of safety pins this is kind of random but i always need safety pins um there's a hundred in here and it costs 128 and they're all different sizes so that's going to come in really handy i've got these these are poppers in different colors i actually got these for my mum to put in her birthday present um, my mum really loves sewing so but i will when i upload this video i will have already given it to her so that's fine but happy birthday mum <laughs> i also got her these which are tiny folding scissors just you can never have too many pairs of scissors i'm sure my mum will agree so you know also got these i've had these before i bought these for mike for christmas last year and they're so nice they're flavored salt so this is a garlic one with roasted garlic and cornish sea salt and this is a lemon one lemon thyme and cornish sea salt this especially is really really good on avocado toast just a bit of this on top of the avocado mm. um, and we finished the whole pots of these so i got some more they're great on salads as well like anything just put it on meat all kinds of stuff really really recommend these they are a little bit expensive but they're really really good they make your food taste really delicious and i've also got a couple of new candle holders every time i go in there i buy candle holders so, which is a really nice frosted glass pattern one that i thought was really pretty um to add to my collection of candle holders which i was gonna get two but i just got one in the end um this is obviously another is a candlestick but i like that this one had a bit to catch your drippy wax and it just looked kind of antique style to me i thought it was really pretty i'm probably gonna display this with like a couple of other types of candles next to it and i just think it will look nice on its own that's a really nice kind of beigey color but i really like the um detail on all the edges so i don't really know i don't know a lot about ceramics i just know that i like them <laughs> And this was £6.56, which is pretty, I think it's pretty affordable for what it is. Really like Sustry and Green. I'm really happy that I got to go. You have to go quite a lot if you live near a Sustry and Green if you want to get the good stuff because they turn over their products quite quickly. Like every four to six weeks they have a new collection in. And if the stuff's popular, like it sells out like pretty quick. So. so then we went to another pound shop where Chantal found a lot of Halloween stuff, but I just found a few bits. So I got this cat toy. Um, for Oscar, it's got feathers on the end. He likes feathers. He's looking at it now. It's got catnip in it. It's just a little bird. So, and it's fluffy. I thought he would like that. Um, I got some of these. This is really boring, but I use these in the kitchen so much. They're really great to put in the oven, but I mostly use mine actually on the George Foreman grill because it stops you having to clean it. You just put your food in this and put it on the George Foreman grill and it works really well. Cleaning the George Foreman grill is a pain, so and then i got some candles so i got this tipsy plum which is like sh i guess it's like sugar plum flavor really flavor sugar plum scent um and i really liked it so i got the tea lights and i got the pillar candle you get 24 in here which is quite a lot and they do actually smell pretty good and then i also got an orange punch candle as well i don't have that many scented pillar candles i mostly get like the little ones or wax melts but it's getting towards that time of year where you want to have loads of candles on although with the cat i'm not sure that's a great idea so that was everything from that pound shop i didn't get that much from there just got a couple of bits after that we went to wilco and then wilco i just got some pet food so i got these little cans these little cans one is tuna with shrimp and one is just tuna i thought he would enjoy that as a special treat at the moment he's just getting felix meaty felix so i haven't really given him any fish but i mean what cat doesn't like fish do you like fish pretty sure you do um and then also i got these which i think is like jerky for cats they are they're mostly just the meat a lot of cat treats are like loads of just loads of crap basically but um this is like 85% duck fillet and this one's 85% chicken. So I, I, I want to give them some treats, but I don't want to give them stuff that's going to 
you know not be good for him so i'm trying to look for stuff that's not too bad and then i got this one as well which are like little steaks these are chicken so i'm gonna try them on these they were really affordable these were all under a pound each so um and you get loads in there so hopefully he likes them so and then we went to the range next I had, he had a voucher for the range, so I think I only paid like a pound for all this stuff. This is a basket, and what I'm going to use this for is to put all of Oscar's cat treats in. <laughs> and all of his pouches, because there's quite a lot of them in the house now. So, Literally, my, my mum very kindly brought over a load of goodies for him as well, so now really we need somewhere to put it all. So I got this basket, and I thought, you know, the cat treats, I'll be able to fit loads and loads in here, why not? And they'll all be corralled somewhere, nice and tidy out of uh, Oscar's reach because he's already stolen the dreamies bag multiple times today to try and get it open can't get it open though mate can you you need a human so this was I think this was about 11 pounds which is is a metal basket and it's got little wooden handles and it's quite it's quite sturdy so I think this is going to come in very handy for all the cat treats also from the range some more chocolate it's that time of year where all the Christmas stuff starts coming out and I really enjoy I really liked these last year so I just got a couple of those to pop in the cupboard and then I also got some crafty bits from the range I got these um, they're called crafting split pins but I, I would call these brads really and they're like a um, an antique copper color I thought they were really nice uh, to use on my cards I got these which I've not seen before these are so instead of gem dot or a pearl these are wooden i just thought they were really interesting so i got those they're adhesive on the back so you just stick them on your project i don't know i just really like those i also got this paper pad not that i need any more paper pads um this is from craft sensations but i really i really like these ones where they have two of the same pattern but then one of them has foil so you get um all the sheets are different but each there's the patterns repeated twice but it's slightly different each time so these have all got gold foil i really like the fruity ones and they have some basic spots and obviously the lemons is what sold me um i love lemons and that's really nice with the little gold leaf just nice and jazzy it'll be fun to use on cards so that's that and these are like these are really cheap these are only a couple of quid i don't even know how much this was actually and then the last thing from the range is these cork tags which um i thought were really really cute um i kind of cork stuff always always pulls me in for some reason but um i just really like these and i thought i'd add them to my ridiculous tag collection so uh and then the last place that we went to that i've got stuff from is b and I only got a couple of bits from B&M, so I got some more of these um, cat treat sticks. They had some different flavours in B&M, so they had some cod ones and they had uh, duck, which I didn't have. I didn't get any other ones. So I hope you like these, Oscar, because I've got loads of them now. They, these are these packs are like 80p, and you get um, you get seven sticks, so that's pretty good. That. Uh, I also got these. These are Mike's favourite, so these are a treat for Mike. There's more treats for the cat in this haul, but I always get a few treats for Mike. These are Nature Valley Crunchy Bars and Canadian Maple Syrup, which is his absolute favourite cereal bar ever, and he likes to take them with him when he goes on his 100km bike rides. Um, I got him those. I don't know if it's a family pack, but Mike will 100% just eat all of these on his own. What, is a, what does a family pack mean, anyway? Like, are me and Mike not a family? It's just a big pack. You don't need to call it a family pack. From B&M. <laughs> it's this big paper pad normally when i go in bnm i can never find the craft stuff and even that one this was the only thing really that was there this was 2.99 but this big pad which is quite good i see loads of people getting stuff getting craft stuff from bnm but i can never find it never find it i really like this it's all fruit themed so let's have a little let's have a little flick they're all single-sided but a lot of them have like more than one pattern on the page so they're like split up and to be honest none of the patterns are like cohesive so they don't they don't really go together but they're all really bold so i wouldn't necessarily use these patterns together anyway and i really like them like i really really like them um they're very modern there's some photograph ones and then some illustration ones and they're all different styles but i really liked it and i like that each a lot of the pages are split up into multiple designs yeah really colorful and bright really fun and summery and ideal for card making or for if you're into scrapbooking like this is really good as well or journaling 
what the avocados there's so many different designs in here very tropical themed Ooh, missed one. but yeah they're not cohesive at all but i wouldn't use two of this kind of pattern together anyway because it would just be too overwhelming and that's a and the strawberries so that's that that was only 2.99 and you get 20 sheets in there yeah this b&m i went to didn't really have any craft supplies this was just kind of on a random shelf with the kids coloring books i'm gonna have to go to some more b&ms and see if i can find some more no i'm not i'm not gonna say that because i don't need any more paper pads <laughs> just don't tell anyone okay <laughs> i think we're done we're done mate thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my haul don't forget to go and check out Chantal's video i'll put the link to it up here in the cards and while you're over there make sure you subscribe to her channel as well she's super nice her channel is really cool she does a lot of makeup tutorials she's just got into art and craft and she also does a lot of hauls just like i do i'd love to have you subscribe to my channel too so you can keep up to date with all of my videos thanks again for watching and i hope to see you back here again soon bye